Did you know that bat poo has its own name? It's called guano. Will there be guano coming out of my bat house? And is it useful or is it dangerous? We talk with bat expert Dr. Merlin Tuttle to find out. How dangerous is guano actually, and should people be worried about it? If you're not worried about bird poop, you shouldn't worry about bats. It turns out that the main health risk associated with guano is histoplasmosis. Histoplasmosis is a lung ailment that can be obtained from any dust coming from animal droppings. There are worse things that can come from cats, but most people that get it have gotten it from bird droppings. In Washington, D.C., a test showed that 90% of the city parks were infected in the soil with histoplasmosis. It's very, very common, and most people have already faced it from another source and didn't even know that they had it. Just don't breathe a large quantity of dust coming from bird or bat droppings. You know, some people are more sensitive than others to anything, but histoplasmosis is not a serious concern for an average person. Can guano be used as fertilizer? Yeah, I had an organic garden a few years ago where I was having trouble growing things. The soil wasn't rich enough. I put down a quarter inch of bat guano over the top and tilled it in and vegetables that were just practically dying on me. I had sweet potatoes with 30 foot runners on them after I put the bat guano. <laughs> It, it really is. A, watch out, you don't use too much too quickly. You might burn <laughs> it. It's a very effective fertilizer. Bat guano is collected and sold as fertilizer all over the world. Every day, have people come and, and buy the poo poo during this more than 20 years. Instead of paying $10 for a quarter pound, with a bat house, you could be generating it for free. Bat guano is rich in nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium all of which are essential for plant growth. If you get a lot of bats in a bat house, you may want to collect the guano and put it on your garden or, or lawn. I can go out and scoop up bat guano and no problem. I just watch which way the breeze is blowing and let the dust go downwind from me. Do it carefully on a calm day, maybe mist it before you pick it up, but it's not hard to remove bat guano from under a bat house and put it where you want it without exposing yourself to a lot of dust. To be extra cautious, we recommend that if you plan to gather the guano, please wear a mask and protective gear. If someone with a weakened immune system gets in contact with bird or bat droppings, a medical professional should be consulted just for safety. Another thing to keep in mind is that Bat and Bees bat houses stick out about an inch from the wall, so most of the droppings won't hit the mounting surface. If there ever is some guano on the walls, rain or a hose will easily wash it away. Because there may be some guano collecting at the base of your bat house, we recommend hanging it somewhere where the droppings will be slightly out of the way. Avoid hanging it directly above a doorway or a footpath so that the guano won't get on anyone's shoes and cause a nuisance. If there's no ideal spot on the walls, you can also consider mounting your bat box on a pole in your yard instead. Thanks for providing these important and misunderstood mammals with a safe place to live. If you want to learn more about bats and bat houses, visit our website at batbnb.com. If you want to help bats further, consider donating to Merlin Tuttle's Bat Conservation. Also, please follow Bat B on social media for more bat house tips. Thanks so much for watching.